And for the last week, we've been tracking what was Hurricane Barrel, now Tropical Storm Barrel. And uh, we are looking at uh, really not too uh, pretty on uh, the satellite and radar here this evening, though we are seeing uh, that eye wall uh, trying to close up here tonight. But as of the 8 o'clock advisor, we get a new one at 11. Uh, it was 60 mile an hour winds uh, gust to 70 uh, miles an hour. Now, the forecast from the Hurricane Center does still have this becoming a hurricane uh, Sunday day afternoon, so it's still got some work to do uh, to make that happen. But we do have uh, hurricane warnings from Corpus Christi up towards Port Lavaca and then even a tropical storm warning for places like Houston and Galveston Bay. Uh, we do expect those, though, to take that turn off to the north and uh, not affect Houston directly, but they could see uh, tropical storm force winds and then it lifts off to the north that remnant through Memphis, Cincinnati uh, and up towards Chicago just as a remnant area of low pressure later this week. But uh, models are still indicating that strengthening here uh, late tonight into tomorrow and uh, still even tomorrow morning we do see tropical storm there but it's not till landfall that it really gets its act together and becomes really a, a category one maybe two hurricane early in the morning on Monday as it becomes uh, again that landfall right near Port Lavaca. So here's another way we look at it. wind gusts. Uh, this is uh, what we are expecting uh, right at landfall here and Port Lavaca 95 mile an hour uh, gusts that would be close to category two strength winds. So uh, it's something to watch uh, for our friends there in Texas here locally. Obviously no tropical threats for us actually uh, was a not as that bad of a day. A couple storms around, but uh, really just was that heat that we had to deal with. We had little storms earlier this evening that is now done with clearing skies the rest of the night 78 degrees going to be that overnight low temperature for you and then tomorrow well we're looking at temperatures in the low to mid 90s again and feels like temperatures anywhere from 105 to 110 maybe even hotter than that places like arcadia maybe 111 i do expect another round of heat advisories uh, for us as we get in towards tomorrow as for tomorrow itself though i do expect waking up uh, to maybe a few showers off the coastline but it's really till you get about noon time we'll start to see those showers up along the coastline and then they'll push inland as we get in towards uh, the afternoon hours but we could see some still some heavier downpours localized uh, for you there tomorrow uh, models indicating maybe a uh, half an inch to an inch maybe two inches uh, worth of rain expected there on Sunday now we do expect on Monday Tuesday rain chances to come down before they pick back up later on into the week why is that we're actually tracking Saharan dust uh, coming off of Africa and that's actually what's really shutting down a lot of the tropical activity. You can see it all across uh, the Atlantic uh, hurricane basin for us. Now we'll start to move into our area on Tuesday and uh, Monday, Tuesday this week, and then that moves out later in the week, and we ramped up those rain chances that you'll see here on our seven-day forecast as we head in towards Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and into the weekend. Rain chances back up to around 70%.